good afternoon all so we are doing the uh, market we have done uh, market research and uh, b plan separately so we first we continuing with the fortified whey protein next slide please wow so these are our team uh, myself bhavya kapoor mohammad fawaz uk dr rahul sir and sumit sir next slide oh so we are uh, we are covering on the like uh, indian market scenario impact of covid 19 then trend and the growth dividers and uh, global scenario 2 then research analysis market strategy and swot analysis next slide wow great so uh, first of all what is the whey protein so whey protein refers to the blend of globular proteins derived from the whey in normal terms we can say like a liquid that is the product, product of cheese production lift uh, liquid leftover as a uh, cheese production whey contains high protein substance as compared to eggs uh, soya and other milk product products so uh, coming to the like india scenario so uh, we know that india is the larger producer of milk and contributes 90% of the uh, world milk production we are producing 150 tons every year so if uh, we are covering indian uh, market scenario uh, after seeing the scenario like we can forecast the data up to 2025 we have seen the cagr of uh, 11% so india is one of the fastest developing nation globally the uh, food sex food sector in the country has a uh, growth of threefold during the past decade and expected to grow at the same rate so we have uh, uh, so these are the top major market players uh, we have shown on, on the screen like arla glabia lectus and massa place is also coming up uh, with uh, on the sixth market trend is going to increase at the cagr of uh, 11% till 2024 so in india also like uh, in whey protein we are segmented into three parts like uh, concentrate one isolate and whey uh, and hydrolyze the uh, the concentrate part covers forty-eight uh, percent of that. Next slide, please. Wow. So our main main motto. So our main motto of choosing this product is like uh, it, the globally the protein market is anticipated a uh, flourish at a CGR of eight percent during this forecast of 20, uh, 2017 to twenty twenty four. So market of way is estimated to like a value of six twenty million USD dollars. And factors such as like uh, rising application of whey in food and beverage products is anticipated to drive the uh, growth of uh, global whey protein. Uh, so we have seen like India during the mills oversupply and low demand, uh, there is so much wastage of milk. So these products can add an opportunity to value addition on the business. And it will hold a win-win situation for the both, for the consumer also for getting the protein and for the like uh, pro uh, milkman production also. So these are some like uh, uh, best protein brands across the globe, like uh, Optimum Nutrition, Transparent Labs, Muscle Tech, BSN, and other ones. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so like uh, from yeah. now on, we'll be like discussing the market trend and the current growth drivers. Uh, firstly, that uh, there has been a considerable change in the dietary protein consumption pattern. So the protein, which was earlier like was only meant for a niche uh, population has entered into a mainstream status. Even adults uh, consume more dietary protein. So uh, just as to like uh, meet their protein requirement for their hair building and their skin glowing and radiance. Uh, next one is the uh, ubiquitous presence of whey protein. So the major composition of whey is uh, like a protein and it's like an amino acid profile. And since they are uh, readily digestible, so they contribute towards the good nutrition. Uh, next one is the improved uh, 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 like uh, demand for, by the sports nutrition. Since we know that uh, sports uh, persons uh, basically go with the, the body profiling and they are very cal calorie conscious. So through such uh, highly refined and derived protein products, they can keep up with their performance levels. Uh, next one is the steady demand for the milk protein hydrolysis. So since uh, derived protein from uh, like derived amino acids from such kind of whey protein are actually rich in their biological value and they are readily absorbed with uh, like with less burden on the uh, the gastric environment. Uh, also, the instant supply of energy since uh, a gram of protein it nearly comes to four calorie of uh, uh, energy. So uh, even like uh, a protein uh, of sort of way can also uh, like uh, uh, fulfill the requirement of the energy count uh, meant for the sports person. And next one is the demand for protein for fortified products. So uh, 
lately due to this covid thing there has been much emphasis on uh, use of protein because protein basically forms uh, uh, the like the the structural unit for the immunoglobins and antibodies so since this uh, awareness has got a lot of traction so there's a quite a few, uh, like a good demand uh, in the market right now for whey protein also like uh, since uh, protein products like a whey products uh, doesn't have much of the sugar added so they also can tackle with the uh, increasing incidences of diabetes okay the next slide please okay thank you rahul so i'll discuss with the research analysis we have uh, done our research uh, through uh, you know google form which we have floated and we got uh, more than 200 responses and this is the responses we are taking from two to one 201 responses we uh, from that point we have taken this so you can see that uh, the age group which is responsive toward uh, towards our uh, you know uh, google form is actually 15 to 25 people uh, 25 age that was the 70 percentage of the people who responded and uh, 27 percentage nine was uh, in the category of 26 to 35 uh, uh, in the age category and uh, you know comparing to uh, these age categories the 36 to 45 and 46 to uh, 55 are comparatively less their approach was uh, 3.5 for each and when we consider the gender even though we have uh, aimed our google form to reach everyone at the same uh, uh, ratio but we the responses what we got is actually from the male it is 72.1 percentage and similarly from the female it is 27.9 percentage so it shows that the male is having more uh, tendency towards the whey proteins but at the same time we also have to note that the female is also raising the, the demand is raising from the uh, from the uh, like point of the females also next when we consider like uh, the the kind of methods which they do for maintaining their health in every day uh, the, we have given an options like gym uh, morning walk and exercises and uh, just regular course and uh, then uh, sports and athletics and we found that the people who approaches the gym is actually 17 percentage actually this is a category where we need to aim more because the gym people are regularly uh, come for the uh, whey proteins but you can see that uh, for the next five years there is an increase uh, CAGR is expected to for 10 uh, 10 percentage the growth of uh, the growth in, in in percentage of gym doing peoples so that is a positive growth we have there and next one is the scaling scaling uh, towards the health consciousness so you can find that the 83 point 83.5 percentage of the peoples have given a scale of three to five percentage which means that the increasing concern towards the health due to the present situations like the corona viruses and all so it is also one of the plus point towards us uh sumit sir can you take take the next next slide yes yes continue with the next i'll be there just move the slide is the slide there? Yeah, this is this is it. So, um, uh, as we are as we are the, the product is involved with uh, protein and the fortified micronutrients, and uh, the the survey which was done are about understanding the needs of uh, protein, uh, uh, how the requirements are met the, by protein. The higher contained was from pulses and vegetables. Then then came with the non-vegetarian diet, then with uh, eggs, and then with the milk and uh, whey protein supplements. Uh, considered only the eight, uh, only eight point nine percent of it, which means the concentrate position, the concentrate uh, portion is still a uh, very less and ha has an opportunity here. Uh, opportunity in the uh, our age group, which was involved, was from twenty five, uh, was about twenty five. This group is highly conscious towards health, and this group is where we are focusing upon for our whey proteins, uh, whey protein supplements. And uh, other ways, uh, other one, other the next one was uh, edible sources. Uh, uh, your with, with uh, the people are relying to boost their immunity. Where it was found that the regular fruits and vegetables uh, came with the first uh, preferences. The uh, Ayurvedic uh, herbal products came with second preferences. Uh, market supplements, uh, uh, market supplements, uh, 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 a new option came on seven percent, and market supplements on seven percent. Here means the seven percent, uh, the people which are looking for something new are are. Uh, Targeted customers, which which clearly depicts there is a uh, there is a gap, there is an emerging gap, a uh, not continuous gap, but there is an emerging gap with which will come ahead, which will can come coming some days, it will uh, gain a, a whole market uh, share. Uh, uh, the next uh, uh, question was about the spending which which they are done uh, to come uh, which they are uh, trying which they are which they are willing to spend upon the expenditure of protein and other uh, immun uh, immunified uh, immunity boosting uh, 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 compo uh, compounds where. 
53 percent people are ready to spend five percent uh, of their uh, uh, total expenses. 32 percent are expected uh, to spend 10 percent of their total uh, spendings, and 8.9 8.9 uh, percent uh, people are expected 15 percent, whereas uh, the leftover people are expected for 20 percent. Which again, which means here, uh, as Indian uh, as Indian people are more price conscious, they are needed in a uh, in a product which is not more uh, uh, not more uh, costlier than what they are spending now. This this also here is an this here is a challenge for us because whey proteins are always uh, uh, ranges with the range of one point uh, fifteen hundred uh, rupees to two hundred rupees per kg where we have to be price conscious and uh, we are also uh, in our business plans we have uh, shared the pricing of the uh, product and uh, and the, the fourth one was what what sort of uh, packing they need or what sort of packing they, they are willing to uh, apply for the product where the 50 71.5% uh, 71.5% uh, of the people have clearly showed they need a portable uh, they need some small uh, bo boxes a small uh, with a small tin uh, tin or uh, plastic uh, boxes where they, that is of 1 kg so here also we are uh, showing our business uh, we are showing our details in our business plan ahead Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, next one is actually marketing strategy and USP. So, uh, like we are just saying, uh, our market strategy will be our USP will be like the product of the gym organ. We will approach the gym organizations like Talwakers and uh, Gold Gyms. So, our product will be firstly introduced to them so that people are actually having a good uh, penetrations in the market. So, if they are agreeing with the product, it it will be good uh, a good effort for us. So, next thing is actually a small pack to product. Since we have already said that the people will prefer the one kg pack products which can easily stored and uh, will not have any uh, problem. So that is the next thing which we are uh, taking in the terms of the uh, uh, product considerations. The next one is gender segmentation. So gender segmentation, we are concentrating on the both male and females. So we will have a different uh, 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 contains we have different compositions for the gender and uh, for the uh, male and female especially for considering the females we will pro uh, provide the uh, hormones ho hormonal values also in there next one is the physician advice you know this is very important actually you know like when the peoples they uh, they, they go for the uh, to the doctors or the physicians uh, in advice with uh, in advice um, uh, for having you know high calciums, high proteins, you know, like uh, for for the products, then the physicians can directly advise them uh, this kind of products. So it will be a direct marketing and a direct trustworthy marketing. And next one is e-commerce. The main thing is that the penetration of the penetration to this uh, particular product, uh, this particular market can be easily done through the e-commerce because mainly the customers are very much active in the e-commerce rather than that of the retail markets. Next one is last thing is the push to market. In push to market. We are like, uh, you know, giving an offers in uh, three and five kg products it's because uh, because mainly uh, as per the 70 percentage of the people's their request was the uh, for the small product like one kg. But even they go for the three and five kg product, we will uh, give a, an extra offers. And similarly, a coupon based offer will also be provided that the cost uh, if the consumer is continuously purchasing from the same retail market, then they will get an additional benefits and point will be counted there. The next thing is the SWOT analysis. So let me go for the uh, let, let me go fast for this. So this is the areas, the strength and weakness, then opportunities and threats. So when we consider the strength, the strength is a it is the largest market and create a promote healthy lifestyle and which is ha having a more concern in nowadays. And it's a highly profitable and easy to create the uh, chain a chain of the product since many players are already active and can be easily create the chains uh, through the uh, gym gym builders already. Then the weakness, the weakness is the expense of research. Uh, the R and D is having is, is very very expensive over here. The next thing is. Uh, the uh, the customer feel that the product may be expensive so that is also uh, can be a weakness for it and not many unique selling and, and pathway we can accept here the next thing is opportunity it is easy to promote this product and not difficult to expand the other uh, not difficult to expand to other products and, and and it's you know it's a highly profitable market and the market become extremely popular with the people's began because the kind of ad will be directly uh, taking the uh, taking uh, attractions from the people's from the customers then the threats then already numerous growing competitors are already in the market. Then production costs are racing and the government regulations and less popularity of the products uh, among the people is the uh, and a threat, a threat can come from here. Okay, thank you. Now uh, B plants, we'll go for a B plants. Rahul, is the slide visible? Uh, no, not yet. Wait, yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, oh, okay, wait. come on, come on, come on. Okay, good evening, uh, sir and batchmates. So uh, we are here with a, our uh, startup plan, Dairyman. So it's actually a product of uh, an app-based product of Dairyman Solutions. We are a registered partner firm. Uh, 
uh, based out of Jaipur, and we were established just last month. And we have also registered our uh, our startup there at Startup India, and we will be receiving their benefits from them. And uh, so we can move on to the next slide, please. Yeah, so here are like a passionate team members. So uh, since uh, I've already shared that we are a registered partner firm, so we all are the founding partners with equal 25% stake here. And I'll be dealing with the platform development with uh, Bhavya sir taking the uh, the charge of finances, Pava sir with the operations of the app platform, and Sumit sir will be handling the uh, marketing. So our mission statement is very much clear that uh, through Dairyman we are going to uh, organize the currently unorganized system of veterinary healthcare delivery and this is our motto that we want to reinvent the way uh, veterinary healthcare system works in the field condition right now um, so so basically through our, our dairyman app based platform we want to address three major issues uh, the first one being the scarce knowledge uh, uh, that is with uh, that the farmers like perceives himself uh, 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 during the um, uh, animal keeping practice and they are very much uh, like uh, they are less aware of the parameters that they need to share with the professionals so the uh, direct solution that uh, that must address such kind of issue is to empower uh, the veterinary healthcare professionals with the kind of history that they need to uh, to have a guided system of uh, treatment ahead so our platform will be basically serving as a, as a, di a dynamic record keeping platform. So all that record that will be a, fed into the system by the farmers of their animals will be available to all the stakeholders on our platform. And uh, this have been a study that uh, just through dynamic and uh, well record keeping, uh, savings of up to 14,000 rupees per cattle or buffalo unit can be achieved. Second is, Confronting the gaps in the service delivery, since we know that there are just nearly 60,000 veterinarians registered in our country, and uh, at places in, like in villages mostly, uh, the workforce is really uh, scarce. So through our platform, we want to uh, get all the veterinary healthcare professionals onto our system so that uh, this system as a whole can have uh, all the all the veterinarians, the para veterinarians, the AI technicians on our system. So that if one veterinarian is engaged somewhere, it, it can, the, the service can be catered by another. So both platform USP here is to build that capacity by connecting all the stakeholders on our platform. Thirdly, uh, since farmers uh, based, uh, just carrying forward the thing that they are not well with their record keeping practice. So most of the farmers are not even aware of what kind of scheduled interventions that they uh, may like uh, undergo during this animal keeping practice. So our platform will have this guided advisory system and push notification system uh, that will let farmers know what future uh, intervention is required. Like in case of a deworming schedule, the farmer will uh, well in time know that uh, uh, a vaccination or a deworming uh, schedule is up for uh, to be implemented then. So uh, our platform USP here will be uh, this ability to synthesize and analyze these records and come up with uh, the current and the future healthcare needs uh, down the line. Um, can we have the next presentation? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. So here is the like uh, our uh, uh, dairy app platform interface. You can see the screenshot of it. Uh, so we are uh, by in the start we are going with a bilingual language, English and Hindi, and uh, it is just a record keeping app. We can get all uh, animal health data there. So algorithm we are choosing it like on both for stake uh, any stakeholder can enter their like data and. Farmers can enter their data at their level and their queries will be inquired by the, all the doctors at the veterinary level. So we are conveyed with the geotag registered veterinary healthcare professional near them. So they will inquire with the lifetime history data. So uh, we will keep keeping a record basis for the future also. So we, we can keep notifying the farmers for the like uh, schedules they were having for their like pest. Uh, so all the records will be keeping. So regular healthcare checkups will be there so that they will not forget and there will be less less losses. So next slide, please. Okay, thank you. Then uh, next thing is actually the market assessment. See, is, you see why we are developing this particular app is actually this particular veterinary healthcare industry is actually a 6,000 crore valued industry. And there is actually a big gap is there a loss is happening 20,000 crores uh, due to the livestock disease and all. 
and it is says that the total there is a 15 percentage of CAGR is expected for the 2020. So the technical and then, then we go for uh, like why we are going for this uh, technical aspects and, and this app based program. Then the data shows that the technological uh, pro, uh, presence in rural India actually a 400 million active mobile users in the rural uh, India by 2020. And similarly, it is also expected that there is a 15.5 percentage CAGR in the rural digital adaptation. Similarly, in the artificial intelligence techniques, there is a 23 percentage of the CAGR is also expected in the livestock regions okay now see here now our target is actually the medium to uh, progressive farmers with the technological accessibility and similarly uh, the, those who are doing the commercial farming in the uh, in, in in particular in dairy farming the next thing is actually the service providers in service providers we will add up with the vets and similarly the para vets similarly the uh, artificial insemination technicians and the diagnostic lab nearby the uh, peoples and nearby the uh, segmentation segmentized areas then the secondary stakeholders uh, will be present in the particular app will be the agricultural consultancy expert similarly the animal insurances agencies will be included and the cement banks for you know exotic uh, cements will be available over there so the breeding can be easily done similarly the industry and research uh, researchers for logged data will also be available next thing is the marketing and the pr route of us uh, uh, that that is actually one of our usp i'll see you that uh, i'll just explain you that see First one is the campaigning. Campaigning and the field promotions can be done through the KVK support and similarly through the veterinary universities and similarly do, uh, by the help of the agricultural health, uh, agriculture, uh, sorry, uh, animal uh, health department, animal uh, uh, dep de through the department's helps also. Then similarly, the next thing we can do is actually the local gathering. So local gathering can be conducted in some places and can give the extensions work to the farmers at the same time. So they will be get uh, having a knowledge regarding it. Then the distributions of farmlets, which gives the entire explanations about the app usage and app interface. Then the social network promotions can also be have a good penetrations in the market. Thank you. Next slide, please. Sumit, sir. Yeah, uh, it's it's one of a kind in India right now with uh, some uh, two major uh, competitors, right? Uh, Dairyman competes with an uh, uh, herdman, uh, indigenous uh, startup from Nagpur. Uh, from the Nagpur Agriculture, uh, Nagpur Veterinary University, and the farm tree. Farm tree was a, uh, is an European uh, startup, but currently in, in existence uh, stage in India. They had their operations before. Uh, there are some uh, attributes which we are uh, including or which we are focusing on. The first one is healthcare records. Um, healthcare records is an uh, record keeping is a, a critical and a pivotal uh, role plays a pivotal role in any business uh, to see its foresight ahead so the the both the two uh, both the two uh, both the two startups or both the two interfaces never uh, seen uh, never uh, accepted that but at dairyman we have accepted and we are keen upon the healthcare records maintenance of record which uh, maintenance of records uh, which are uh, usp with others also diagnostic services here, uh, understanding understanding the understanding the loopholes with a, with a specialized or a technical person is 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 something which we are going to provide because we are included with a team of uh, a very uh, which we, 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 we will going to include very team of very sound professionals. So veterinary service uh, next comes with the veterinary services. Veterinary services uh, uh, comparing to the herdman and farm tree. Uh, uh, herdman uh, was easy. Is now working with uh, veterinary services. Uh, simultaneously, we are also going to go in a veterinary services, but we are also trying to have a real-time interface upon our uh, upon our uh, upon our app based, where on the real time the farmer and the uh, specialist can uh, share their data. On the real time, they can share their videos and uh, get into uh, some primary uh, get into some, some primary uh, healthcare uh, and solve the primary healthcare issues. Location tracking, both the herdman and farm tree have no location tracking access, but at Dairyman, we are with the location tracking access. Um, the next come is an, a, a smart initiative pro, uh, platform where uh, a smart year for us means understanding the base, understand the root cause of the problems. Uh, the as due to the due to the maintenance records of uh, healthcare records, uh, maintenance records, and veterinary services, sound veterinary professionals, we can uh, get into a very smart solutions and uh, a very, uh, we can go go with smart solutions, which uh, farm tree uh, was uh, is providing where Herdman was not providing. This is our uh, next uh, uh, SOP, uh, USP, where. Uh, 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 
both the uh, the herdsman and farm tree were not uh, interested uh, are not working in the field of small livestock animals uh, small livestock animals uh, like uh, goats are also we a major part of our uh, uh, major part of our consultancy and are our our a major part of our also our uh, consultancy and a uh, business approach use of iot's currently as we are uh, focusing on a typically uh, commercially based uh, commercial based farmers uh, i think uh, we are not in much need of iot's right now but there is an iot used by hardman and uh, hardman only so uh, that was our uh, competitive advantage we have uh, okay okay so like uh, from here like i'll be quickly uh, rushing through and uh, so what are the technical barriers that we might be facing if we are like trying to enter the market the first thing is that there is a possibility that government as a whole can come up with such a good platform uh, that can actually digitalize whole system and uh, can have all the animal health records related to the para veterinarians and the veterinarians but the thing is down the line uh, since the same concept has not yet been implemented in the medical health care service like how the system actually functions in the human medicine case so it's a it's a long foreseen thing uh, to like uh, but yeah still there's a risk with that uh, if uh, if the government can come up with some kind of project yeah. and second is yeah yeah yes. please uh, yes, maybe, sir. Uh, maybe you could focus on the business plan numbers sure sure, sure sure okay okay then uh, already yeah. all right sir That so uh, th these are the kind of uh, milestones that we are expecting for this year that we'll be working first on the content creation then the Great. the platform development with followed by the website development and these are all the deliverables and so we have uh, kind of decided uh, like uh, allocated them in two terms from now on so like 6 1 wow. for the first and 6 to 12 months on the next and uh, lastly towards the end of this uh, uh, all the deliverables we'll be kind of promoting a, a project so can you go on to the next slide please super since you know the ppts and the reports will be available for everyone they can go into yes, so sure, sure, sure. if you can focus oh, on the right sir yeah so th this is our like a growth roadmap for the upcoming uh, 5 years so the, during the first year we'll be uh, em kind of emphasizing on the service delivery model so uh, coming up with a, a strong service delivery model for the stakeholders after a pilot area is decided uh, in the second year we'll be dis uh, will be uh, in kind of including the animal man management data along with the healthcare data and also promoting our, uh, uh, our platform as a whole uh, and during the third year we'll have this uh, ICT section called as dairy charcha section to uh, increase the farmers engagement during the fourth year we are targeting to hire our own dairy man agents to promote uh, uh, our platform in the in the village and to come up with a robust subscription model like uh, those of liberat and uh, practo and the, during the fifth year since this iot technology has a good vibe going around and maybe in incoming time uh, this uh, technology will also be much more cheap to be implemented for the livestock so we'll kind kind of like try to tap that and uh, also since all these five years we will have uh, like a good ac uh, accumulated data in our hands on on our dairy man app we'll try to monetize it to by uh, trying to partner up with the different industries and coming up with a good uh, model so these are the fun funding requirements for this year so if you you were targeting uh, like it, it it might take 12 months of time and we have allocated a project uh, a budget of 686000 uh, rupees and uh, so these are the particulars if you are interested you can uh, have a screenshot uh, please on to the next slide uh these are the uh, these are the revenue model that we came up with so initially we'll uh, kind of focus on uh, obtaining the commission from our stakeholders which are vets para vets technicians and diagnostic labs uh this commission uh, will allow us to uh, like uh, keep the uh, revenue stream flowing and also uh, for the other stakeholders they'll uh, have increased number of cases to be dealt Uh, also, uh, since our uh, platform will include an ICT section, it will be engaged full thing for the farmers. We'll, we'll also try to include the in-app advertising. Also, as I already discussed, monetize the data. Uh, and through our ICT section, we can also go for the content marketing, like publishing videos and blogs of other uh, intellects on our platform and kind of marketing that. And also down the line, we also uh, foresee a consistent revenue system out of the product sales through our platform. On to the next slide, please. Yeah, so these are uh, consolidated uh, revenue projections. Uh, we have uh, we foresee a breakthrough of nearly around the fourth year uh, since uh, our our pro project is based out of a service delivery model and it's kind of uh, a similar thing of uh, what Dehat and Agrostar have been doing and they actually uh, met their uh, 
uh, break even nearly around six to seven years down the line. So it's a quite quite ambitious goal for us to uh, do that in the fourth year. But the thing is, during the second and the third year, uh, we just need to pump near around two lakhs in the second year. And during the third year, we just saving near around. Uh, 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 in, during the second year, it was five lakhs, and during the third year, it's two lakh. And uh, from fourth year on, we'll be self-sustainable with this project. So uh, that was it actually. Uh, thank you. Thank you.